Hey everybody! Hiya! Disney Crazy Family here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new or if you're a returning friend, we do a lot of Disney pin related content. Today is no different with a Valentine's pin tag. This was created by uh, Beth over at Villains and Vice, and we got tagged by a couple of people, I think. Um, I will link everybody down below in the description. So 13 uh, favorite villains, 13 different prompts. Let's just get into it. Uh, if you'd like to participate, please don't hesitate to tag us so we can watch your video and see your pins. Um, this is a little late in the game for this tag, so I don't know if we're going to be tagging anybody at the end. But stay tuned for our choices. Uh, prompt number one, magic mirror on the wall. Choose a pin that best reflects your personality. Would you like to go first? You go ahead. Okay. Sorry. I am very cute and fluffy with a lot of suspicion. So I chose this adorable big cat in town Machiavelli pin. Uh, we've seen this on the channel before. Very cute. Limited edition Disney pins blog, recycled metal. Love this pin. Yeah, she has the grumpy face in the morning. I'm pretty sure that's just all the time. And he can be persuaded to not be suspicious if you give him delicious food. So there you go. I have, ow, stabbed myself. Anyway, I have Basil of Baker Street. His super sleuth analytical way. This is right at the moment where they're just about to die and he figures everything out and they are able to get away unscathed. That's me, super analytical. Suspect everybody. <laughs> this is true. This is true. It goes with the job. There we are. Two. Belle is the most beautiful girl in town. That makes her the best. Choose your most beautiful pin. I know I'm going to get some smack from somebody in the comments for this pin, but come on. Come on. You guys know we love the rose gold medals. Very nice. We love the colored medals pin. This is from a very early on um, lounge fly set. I think this was the chase. Maybe not the chase within the Cinderella set. We have the whole set. It's very beautiful. I thought it was because so, it was the glittery one. So cute. But all of them are glittery in oh, the set. Okay. Oh, it's so beautiful. I chose this one from a D23 um, gold member pack. And I chose this one because it has the original wheel from DCA uh, shown as Mickey Mouse back in the day. And it shows the, um, gosh, Rocking small, up. no, small world. I hate, I hate it to say that because, you know, that whole song starts playing in your head. And anyway, and I love Mr. Toad. And also it has Hatbox Ghost. Oh, you said Disneyland. Yes. Okay, never mind. It has the Cozy Cone. And of course, the castle. And this to me is one of the most prettiest sights, most beautiful sights there are. And also, I enjoy being a D23 member. That was a good interpretation. And here we are. Ta -da, ta -da. Okay, number three. Have you ever attended a peasant festival, Captain? Show a party pin. So I decided to go with a party hosted every year at uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Walt Disney World. There we go. The, nope, it's not going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> the boo to you. Uh, Halloween party celebration. This one's really cool. There's a bunch of them where you could uh, slide the characters back and forth, uh, the pumpkins back and forth. Really like this one. I have a feeling Oogie Boogie knows how to throw a party. Yeah, maybe a party you may not want to go. Really cool. I love this one a lot. All right. Well, for that prompt, I chose... 
one from um, the year 2000, Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Here's the back. Food and Wine, oh, excuse me, 2020 is the 25th anniversary. Ouch, I just poked myself. And here we have the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty. And um, she's putting the cake together without it being baked. And now I remember what prompt I actually I chose that for. <laughs> the drippy candles and everything. Anyway, it was in preparation for um, Aurora's birthday. Good choice. <laughs> Number four. I have Whoa. a hard time with this one. It's my hair. It is my hair. Uh, lovely locks. Somebody with lovely locks. I figured fur is close enough to hair for this prompt. So, May May, giant panda, super glittery. Really like this pin. Orange is one of my favorite colors. I thought this was a good pick. Very cute. Lovely locks. Well. Who else has long silvery hair? Dun 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 dun. That's why I chose it. It's where she's making her va 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 boom moves with her hair. <laughs> you know I love Madame Mim. Love the purple, silvery hair. So. You know what? We actually don't have too many pins of Madame Mim, so in the future no. that might have to be like a top priority. Yeah, this is an LE twenty seven fifty. Kind of an odd number, but anywho. Uh, prompt five, my pet, you are my last hope. Show an animal pin. I went with a mascot and chose the scare pig from Scare University. <laughs> this is so cute. Absolutely love him. Oh, I can't ring Archie, Archie the scare pig. <laughs> so cute. One of my favorite movies. I chose this little guy because I tried to pick something different that we haven't shown very often or at all. This is a Vinylmation. And if I read this correctly, or not at all because I can't read the back. Anyway, let me ow, show you the front as I poke myself. The Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland. I love these. They need to bring some of these back with some of the modern day uh, sidekicks. I don't know if everybody is quite over Vinylmations. I know I'm not when they're like this. I love them. You want to read the back of that? I could not see it as I poked myself. It says 2011. Really cute pin. We only have a couple of these 3D ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe, maybe they'll bring some back for the 100 years. They brought some back for the 50th anniversary. Yeah, I thought these were really outstanding pins. Okay, number six. I'm surrounded by idiots. Not <laughs> the sharpest tool in the shed. Don't come at me, but he isn't um, quite all there. He's still just a puppy. Uh -oh. And he's so cute. Yes, little brother. Still just a puppy. Absolutely love him from one of the earliest Loungefly Mulan sets that they had out there. He's adorable. Really, really cute. My particular uh, pin for this. And nobody yell, nobody scream. Ooh. <laughs> Buzz. Um, he come has on. been chosen. Y'all know he is not the sharpest tool in the toolbox when he is first arriving he does not realize he is a child's toy he's a toy see so it takes a lot of convincing a lot of falling with style to realize that he is a toy all right that's, that's a good choice. choice uh seven you can't get something for nothing you know most expensive. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Most expensive? Yeah, most expensive. 
Okay, so y'all know we like a good puzzle in this house, and I think this was our first collection that we actually completed. Started it back in 2014 during the pin event that they had at Walt Disney World. Um, we actually met Jess Willis. We got a couple of pins from the Up event signed by her, which was pretty cool. So we got several boxes and we tried to complete it at the event. Didn't do that. And then we saw them in the park being sold. Couldn't complete it there. And then we opened up like 10 more boxes, I think, afterwards. And then we finally got Doug after ordering like two more after we didn't finish him in the first like two dozen pieces. Um, and I kept these pieces, uh, the extras, for a really long time. I was able to get some cool things uh, in trade, but I probably should have kept them a little longer. Really, really nice set. I don't know how much this was, as it was a Christmas gift, but it is a Alice in Wonderland um, art piece by Mary Blair, and I'm gonna have to pick this up. Y'all bear with me, don't get sick. This is a pin of all the singing flowers and it is framed. Here's another pin. This is also a pin. Alice is a pin and I love it because it's drawn in the old style. It's like directly from the storybook, not necessarily from the animation movie. And these are also a pin. And this is a pin set of five, LE3700 Ensemble. So this, I didn't ask the price, but I imagine it did cost him a pretty penny since it is still framed, five large pieces, and signed by Mary Blair. Prompt eight is pull the lever, cronk a moving element. I chose this Disney Movie Rewards pin. This is one of the early pins. Oh, excuse me, Disney Movie Club, I should say. This is a spinner pin. Probably should have cleaned this before, but you know. This is a spinner pin. Ooh, nice. And the spinning element is Snow White on the back. Ooh. Is this a D23 pin? Uh, yeah, no. I said Disney Movie Club pin. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't hear you. No, that's okay. But uh, we usually keep it on the Evil Queen side because we have too many Snow White pins. <laughs> doot, doot, doot. Really cute. They don't make these pins like they used to. Mine is the pin from the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. It says, next stop. And the moving element is Mickey, top seater V, as he goes round and round and round, <laughs> as he goes from floor to floor. That's a good one. One of our favorite rides, I think. Yes. The world is a dark, selfish, and cruel place. If it finds even the slightest ray of sunshine, it destroys it. Prompt number nine is to share some dark colors. Well, nothing darker than a mechanical droid who has no feelings whatsoever. Ooh, very nice. From a Vinyl Nation set, yeah. Mystery Pack, I think uh, 2010. If I'm not mistaken, this is from Too Small. So either 2012, 2014, it was our first, um, first and only Star Wars weekends that we were there. Dun, 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 dun. Talk about selfish and a destroyer. Here he is, Darth Vader, Dark Father. Good choice. Yes. This is a pop pin. The sides of his cape are some sort of leather, pleather, something inlay right there. Ouch. 
Guys, I did not know that, and the Funko Pop pins are like one of my biggest collections. So that just tells you how much I pay attention to details sometimes. <laughs> and all the crowns represent Star, uh, the Loungefly logo, Funko Pop. And this was from 2020. Hey, we're having a big run on 2020 pins. What's the deal, Pickle? Very cool. 10, I've got friends on the other side. Show friendship. Now this pin was actually gifted to us by some very lovely friends, Hannah and Trevor, over at Disney Pinsomniac. It was for a swap hosted by another group of friends, Erica and Patrick. We will link everybody down below, limited edition of 2000. And y'all know NBC is one of my favorite movies. It's a big celebration year for NBC, so I expect some really amazing designs to come out of DSSH yes. or Mickey's of Glendale. But it's so, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. It's going to be an expensive year for that collection. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, you know, if they do it right, it will be a very expensive uh, year for that. I'm hoping they, they get away from the usual poses. Oh, yeah. Know, come something up with something new. different. Pink Galamos. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> you know, something... Um, Somebody somewhere give me some good designs. You know... Uh, Yes, it's a classic. They're a classic couple, and but that moon crescent with them holding hands, yeah. facing the each hill, other. Yeah, yeah, that's don't do that. It's played out. It's don't oh, yeah. don't do it Anywho. unless it has some really good elements to it. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe that's what I'm needing. Something just something different. All right, for mine for friendship. Um, these are real cool cats, and uh, they're there for you when you need them. As told by Abraham de Lacey. De -de 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 -de. And we just Genius watched this. For Casey. Yep, Thomas O'Malley, an alley cat. I think these are this, all his friends. This might be one of the biggest pins that we have also. It is. And this is a lounge fly. No, it's not. Is it? No, I thought it was a lounge fly. No, it's a Disney Parks pin. Let me look. Here. Oh, it has the Mickey heads. You're so true, so true. Yeah, Jumbo so true. came out during the 2020. What is it with the 2020 with us? She is so right. She's so smart. I should never even question. Here we go. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. LE2000. Here we go. Ooh. I'm trying to hold this back as far as I can so you can see the whole pin. Do y'all see the glitter? I didn't know there were glitter elements on this. I see more pearlized, kind of a marbling oh, kind man. of. But yeah, the three kitties are on the top. We got Berlioz, Toulouse, Marie, and I, Monsieur Scat Cat. I don't think we've ever taken this out of the package no. because the post on the bottom, it's a little jacked up. Yeah. But that's all right. Yep. Okay. Really nice pin. Say goodbye, kitties. Uh, real nice. They don't make them like they used to. I enjoy this very much. Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. What are we on? Oh, yeah. 11. You've heard of the golden rule, haven't you? Whoever oh, has the gold, gold makes me. the rules. Gold? Or money? Or coin pins. Hmm. I decided to go with the coin pin. It's not really a coin, but it's circular, so we're going to take it as a coin. <laughs> I cheated. Oh, you just went outside the box. Okay, from... Oh, sorry, Earthshake. Is this set from 2020 or 2021? Somebody let me know. It's been a while since we completed this. Uh, Beauty and the Beast has some of the most gorgeous pins. Oh, wow. And this is the chaser pin from the mystery set that came out in said year. And very nice. The whole set is very beautiful. I definitely wanted this because I like the style of artwork. Very pretty, very glittery. Oh man, two princess glittery pins? <laughs> Yikes. All right, so for gold, I kind of um, no. 
went out of the box. You said gold or what? Coins. Coins. Well, I went with another Funko Pop pin. There's all the gold. Beep boop beep. Yeah. Not quite him, but see Debio, who is Mr. Goldie Pants himself. Wow, I can see the gold reflecting onto the camera. Very shiny. I love can, it. Can you see me back here? Yeah. yeah just feel. barely. Wow. Real nice. Mr. Goldie Pants. All right. So good I choice. Must, I must go. Number 12. I can't. I'm too shiny. Oh my. So sparkles, glitter, or metallics. Um, I went with metallic for this one because I'm really hoping to complete this set this year. It is from the lovely Fantasia anniversary set. Mystery box. It is an oil slick looking pin. Yeah, they, I, that's interesting. They all had different um, finishes on them. I think I have about half the set now. Would really love to finish. If anybody has any of those for trade, Come a little closer. please right let me know. Yeah, this those is, are really cool. Yeah, this is probably my favorite out of this set. Just so colorful, rainbow. Love it so much. That's neat. I like that finish a lot. Oh, oh, and the best part about this pin, even the back, guys. Oh, yes. The entire series has this, uh, everything about the pins. And that was an L.E.? Or uh, L.R. The entire series is like that. Oh, wow. I love it. Ow. Okay. Uh, this is the day for me to keep stabbing myself on these pins. And your prompt was something shiny? Shiny, glittery, metallic. Okay, well, I went with the metallic. Can y'all guess? Can y'all guess? Star Wars. Dun, dun, dun. Let me turn this over. Another Funko Pop pin. Gorgeous. There we go. It is Hans in his carbonite state. Hans Good Solo. Pin. This one is actually heftier than some of the other pins, which is crazy. Yes. I hope you all are picking up the um, details on this. I know it's hard since he's like a wacky kind of Carbonite. Well, we'll take pictures at the end, too. Yeah. Last, but not least, 13. I said, if. if Show a pin that's a grail. Okay, y'all, I have shown this on the channel before. I have praised about it on Instagram. If you don't follow us, you should. Do we recognize the back of this pin at all? Okay, if not, it is one of my absolute favorite pins of all time. I did not think I was going to get this pin whatsoever. It is from a very exclusive mystery, well, a very exclusive um, pin event at Disneyland. It was held for one day, special ticketed very very rare to find i am super happy that i was able to snag it for a really good price and this is probably one of my favorite ducktail pins of all time i think so very happy to have that in the collection i don't have grail pins um but i do have one here that we acquired that i enjoy a lot it is the disneyland 20th anniversary jumbo with everyone on it just about everyone oswald mickey maleficent jessica tinker aurora and if you remember there was another one put out that same year for walt disney world and these were limited edition of a thousand celebrating the 20 years of Disney pins. 
Okay, well, thank you so much for coming to the table, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the pin tag. We enjoyed being tagged.